they are coming to May the 8th. We did not know it will be after the war, but we knew the Germans started to be very nervous and take people away from the, to go by foot. It was about two o'clock in the night. The concentration camp was not empty, but very empty. And we did not know what happened. Nobody would tell us nothing. And the Germans ran away. And in the morning, we could hear fighting, the American plane start to come. So we knew it is after the war and we didn't have the Germans over us. It was at noon, the first American jeep came, a Red Cross, and I, who survived by four, like animals would go to this, I could walk, I went close to the car and there was a driver. And still I looked very young because in meantime, I didn't have hair anymore. They took in Ravensbrück my hair off. And uh, we had uh, raincoats, raincoats, it was a blue coat. Uh, with our number and with our yellow star and with our uh, cross in back, like prisoners, and here I had my number, and we didn't have hair. And he, he saw the soldier, what, how people looked, and he gave me ivory soap. But I did not know, I was hungry. I took off and I put it in my mouth and he grabbed my hand and he started to cry, this soldier. And we knew we are safe. And you cannot imagine, people have been kissing the wheels and it was a big emotion in this small camp. What we could hear when they, after the soldiers came American, they gave us DDT, we had fleas. I didn't tell you we had fleas. You know, when I took my hand, I could pour fleas all over. And I was 28 kilograms. My sister was 27 kilograms. Maybe I was 29. Anyhow, I was hungry and the American didn't came with food immediately. They came with DDT. And I told my sister, you know what, I see the city, I go for food. She said, don't go, you will not know how to come back. I said, don't worry, I come. I went to this Landsberg city. I knocked on the door before I came to a farmhouse. I like to point this out. I looked younger than 17 because I was skinny and I didn't have hair. And uh, from the farmhouse, she came out, a fat German lady. I said, geben Sie mir ein Tropfen Milk, a drop of milk. And she saw my star. She said, for Juden habe ich keine Milch. 